Hello friends, welcome back to the video series Learn HTML5 in a day. In this video, we will discuss on the lists in HTML. There are practically two types of lists in HTML the unordered lists and the ordered lists. At first, we should discuss on the unordered list. Unordered list is representing using the UL tag, which is block tag. Each item in a list is specified with the content of the LI tag. It can include nested lists also. When displayed, each item is implicitly preceded with a bullet. Let's check what is the meaning of unordered list in HTML in the practical way. So here at first in the index.html delete all the other codes and change the title as lists and here that is also suppose unordered lists. And here also we are using the h1 that means the header as unordered list. So here I am writing the first one code. Here for the unordered list our tag would be ul. Then write down the li tag and for that write down li and here suppose the first one is list 1 same as we are using some more in the list. And we are changing the list name also that is 2, that is 3, that is 4 and that is 5. Let's save it and check the output. Refreshing the browser and here you can see the unordered lists means the list 1, list 2, list 3, list 4, list 5 has been represented using the bullets. Now you can also change that bullets. That would be a different discussion. At that moment in the unordered list the lists are represented by the bullets. Next one the ordered lists. So what is the difference between the unordered and the ordered list? Ordered lists are those in which the order of items is important. Each item in the display is preceded by a sequence value. And the list in the ordered list is the content of the OL tag. That means ordered list. The default sequential values are aerobic numerals beginning with one. Let's check what happens with the ordered list. And here we are changing the title as ordered and also the header as ordered. And here in place of ul, we are just changing the u to o. That means ordered list. And here also the end tag must be on ordered. The rest are the same. That means we are using the li here. So save it and let's check what is the output here. And you can see in place of bullet, the list is in the form of Arabic numerals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, the nested lists. 
any type list can be nested inside any type list let's check what are the meaning of the nested list now the nested list must be in a list item so here at first we have ordered list then we are proceeding with the list one that means the l i then once again suppose we are writing the another tag for well and here once again we are giving another li that is li and suppose here we are writing sub list one then another well is here and here once again we are using the li and that is sub list suppose 2.1 and we are copying it and pasting it and here we are writing 2 here we are writing 3 then suppose another one ordered list is here we are using and we are once again writing o l and another li we are using here and we are changing it from 2 to 3 let save it and let's check what happens with the output so here the output you can see already the first one ordered list is the list one and then we are using the li that means list one and under list one the first sub list one is here but after that once again one two three that means that sub list 2.1 sub list 2.2 sub list 2.3 all are under that particular li so that's why we have to change it and here we are changing that li in that way that means that will we are changing here and ending here let's check what happens with the output so the first one list one then sub list l1 now that well one must be end with here so the output would be more different so this is how we can use the nested loop also just we have to remember we have to use the end tag properly let's we can experiment more with that particular thing so here the first one is the well then sub list one now we are using another well here so just delete it so under that well the well one is here and here we are using another well Let's check what happens. Now you can see the sub list or the nested lists are very properly demonstrated. Now another type of list is available in HTML that is called the definition list. It is used for glossaries, etc. It represents set of terms and their definitions list is the content of the dl tag 
terms being defined are the content of the DT tag. The definitions themselves are the content of the DD tag. Let's check what is happening with the definition list. So here we are writing the heading as definition list and here we are removing the unordered or the ordered lists. Now the tag we are using for the definition list is the DL and here we are using the DT tag. Then suppose we are writing 152. Then we are using the DD. And here suppose we are writing two phase. Then another DT tag we are using. And here suppose we are writing 172. And for that, once again another DD tag has been used. And here we are writing suppose smaller phase. Now suppose another DT tag we are using. And here we are writing 180. And for that, another DD we are using. And here, suppose we are writing larger phase. And for better view, once again, another DT tag we are using. And here, we are writing 210. And suppose the DD tag is like, suppose, 6 place. And finally, the end of the DL tag, and that is here. So, save it and check what happens with the output. And here we can see the definition list looks like the output presented here. So, that is how we can use the list in. HTML. In the next video, we will discuss on the tables.